morning guys. I just realized I haven't spoken to you guys today. Today I am alone working and I've already got everything done and more because I'm such an excellent worker. But yesterday I found out I'm actually going to probably be going to a show this weekend which is exciting with Mercedes who is which is really nice. She's just like literally a Mercedes and she likes to go very fast after the jump so yesterday I was doing this exercise that curved line to the next one and then so it was like roll back turn from the left then right lead over that one and then left lead wait yeah left lead again so it was like an S which is difficult when you don't know the horse. So I had a few stops, which was really annoying because I hate, hate having stops. And they ride so differently over here. So I'm really quite struggling to learn, to be honest, to stay forward because I like Pauline lean back, which is like a huge thing that eventers do. Like they just always lean back and it works well for me considering I haven't fallen off jumping in a long time but it's just not I guess as ethical for the horse to lean back on the approach to a fence and also it doesn't learn the horse it doesn't learn the horse it doesn't make the horse learn for itself really that much because it's just like okay you do the distance for me and I don't know how to shorten myself or anything so and that's what I'm just kind of learning here is to just be like, okay, horse works it out for themselves. I just ride them in, do do do, and then they just take off and are fine learning themselves. So yeah, every morning you wake up and it's 7.30, between 7.30 and 8. It's like 8 for me this morning. Uh, you go and feed all the horses and... I fed them all and then you bring some horses in, you take some horses out, then you do all the stalls from yesterday that had horses in it and from last night and then you ride and I don't know who to ride yet so that's why I'm waiting and cleaning instead. Um, so cute. Yeah, <laughs> Hello guys, the babies, <laughs> yeah, they're all so curious, hey, what about you, are you the runt? <laughs> I like you, you're very cute. You're gonna be very pretty, I think. Maybe not that tall though. You guys just want it to be about you, hey? <laughs> you want it to be about you, missus. This is cute. Hello. Currently shopping. RIP my bank account. These are the ones I'm trying on. Why am I so tired today? <sighs> I'm gonna get this for you, Kiv. I know that you love this color and you will love to wear this on your chestnut. It is nice, you know, it's like, this is just a little bit here. But I wonder if like, can I just like show you a thing? So, I was trying on these fits breaches and I was like oh my god or leggings 
like, oh my god, they fit so well. Like, these are so comfortable. And then I pull them up. What is happening? What is this crotch area? It is like the ugliest thing I have ever seen. What is going on? What the fuck? Like, why? Why? Why would you do that? Who, like, put this on and thought this was fine? That would be the nicest place to train. Mm-hmm. And it, it goes down. Oh, is that a jump? Yep. <laughs> and then you have the not looking bad. That's like a jump that descends and it goes down a hill. Yeah. Where's the water from here? Uh, it's pretty far. This is the cube. So I am currently riding for the day. Today I have a huge mare, like big in fatness and big in height as well. This girl, and she's got the biggest hooves, I think she's homebred. She has a massive blaze, I'll show you when I get off. But um, apparently she's fairly unbroke. But she started on defences, so that's good. Apparently she can buck after jumps, but today I'm just going to work her. We might be taking her to a show this weekend, so I'm just going to have to, or someone else, or me, me and someone else. Excuse me, do not spook. He's going to be working her this week, like every day this week leading up to the show, because apparently she can get pretty fresh, and she was when I lunged her. Look at that belly. It's huge. <laughs> It actually feels so nice and secure though because I've got such a big belly like behind my leg <laughs> because usually I have very little belly to have my legs on but my leg is like permanently on her which feels really good because that's like a fault in my riding is to take my leg off and it's a terrible fault I have with Dexter but not usually that many other horses. I tend to take my leg off of the speedy ones because that's what your mind wants you to do but you have to have it on more. It's great. But yeah, today I'm just gonna flat work her. Hey missus, do you like me or do you hate me? Let's see if she likes the event rider. So I decided to now take her outside because it is a beautiful day. Oh, by the way, her name is Emerald. I keep forgetting their names. I'm so bad with names. Oh my god, so scary. I see squirrel in the tree. What was it? Hey guys, sorry I look like absolute trash, but I thought I would just do a quick haul of the things I got today at the Saddlery in America. I think it was called Tack Leap or something like that. Something Leap. And it was closing down and it was 25% off all the new items and 40% off specific items and 40% off other some other items. Also gloves were like two for one and yeah, it was like super good deals. By the way, I should be filming this on my good camera but 
that's got a lot of gigabytes and my computer has very minimal space at the moment. This is what I got. I spent over $300, over $350 in fact. So first thing, this is actually a consignment item. It was $40 originally, but it was half price or 40% off I think because it was like secondhand and it is this fleck whip <laughs> how cool is that I really wanted a fleck jumping bat and it's like super strong like grippy it's so nice I don't think anyone's ever used it because this is like super good quality even though it was secondhand and like it's got the label on it still so Saying. but uh, I've I wanted a whip that was a bit smaller than mine it's like super long so I wanted something a bit easier to use I originally had one that was like this long um, which I got from an American saddlery and had shipped over but I lost it because I always lose whips and bats and things so yeah pour us some socks so these were noble outfitters and they were I guess 25 percent off and they were originally $13. By the way, sorry if I sound kind of down and I look like trash. I'm so tired because I've been working 11 hours a day on a horse farm. And also I've been like pushing myself really hard to get fit at the same time. So I've been running when I feed the horses. So I'm like running around carrying feed things and wheelbarrows and cleaning stables and all that. I just liked the rainbow ones because I'm pretentious because all about that gay pride, you know? And then they're like super sleek and not very thick. And then the sock bit, this lower bit is really thick, which is good. So yeah, they were probably like $7 or something. These are the gloves that I got. Oh my God, I've been eating. So I have like a bit of heart, but like, yeah. Anyway, I wanted a pair of winter gloves because it's very hard to get them in Australia. So I got these Heritage, I don't know, Summit Riding Gloves. Heritage Perform, I don't know what Heritage is, I've never heard of it before. And it's supported by the USEF, so I assume it's very much a US based thing. But yeah, so I got these which are like this and the only reason that I like was sold on them is because they have this for iPhone use even my iPhone 7 worked with them Bolissimo. before I go on to more knee wear things I got these dressage fluffy dressage boots by dressagesportboot.com funnily enough and they look like this and I haven't actually got them out hopefully they'll fit I'm sure they will, I got them in large and they had extra large so so this is what they look like sweet and these were originally 50 which is still really cheap compared to what I would normally wear wear, pay and then they were 25% off on to me things I didn't actually try this on which was dumb but it was 40% off and usually it is 75 and I think these are 80 or 90 in Australia so I got this Castel Denmark sun shirt I have one of these and it's in slightly smaller size like I, the one I have is extra small this is small but I just loved this colour you can't tell how nice the colour is <laughs> I promise you it's very nice a very nice green and then it's got the mesh on the underside of the arms and the Castel Denmark logo, logo the Denmark the flag of Denmark sorry and then the Castel Denmark logo I actually found one in the store after I'd bought everything which was a show shirt a white show shirt long sleeve one which we don't have long sleeve show shirts really in Australia because it's hot f and it was extra extra small and I was like whew I would have liked to have tried that on and bought it but 
it was too late. And I went there with my instructor slash current coach slash slash current boss. And she was in there for so long. It's the first time I've been in a tax shop with someone and been like, okay, come on, let's go home. I want to eat. I am done. But yeah. So I'm sure when I tuck that in, it'll look smaller and it will fit me, hopefully. Now this next, I'm not sure if I'm going to give Kiv. It depends on if it suits her cross-country colours, but it's by Noble Outfitters. This was again 40% off. I don't know why these were 40% off, but it was originally 80 and it's extra small and in mint. And I just love these tops. And how cool is this? The mesh is lace, so it's like got like lace detailing. It's so pretty. So pretty. And then on the back is the Noble Outfitters logo. Oh look, it's like glowing. Just like super lightweight. Not as lightweight as this. Sorry, it's probably about the same. But yeah, apparently it was the day for green things because then for breeches, I got the only ones that fit me, <laughs> which were the size 24 B Vertigo breeches. And they're full seat, thank God. And I freaking loved these. I tried so many on. I tried Carrots, I tried Ariat. I tried other B Vertigo ones, I tried Ariat normal ones, I tried Ariat winter ones, I tried winter B Vertigo ones, I tried some other brand, which I cannot, oh, um, Noble Outfitters, I tried so many breeches on, I was in there for ages, and then these are the last ones I tried on, and they fit so well, and so I was super happy, oh, and I tried fits on, which I started pulling them on and I'm like, oh no, I'm going to have to buy these. These are amazing. They are so comfortable. And then it got to my crotch and the crotch was black on like grey breeches earlier in this vlog. Yep, that. That was like, well now I can't buy them. <laughs> Which like was so annoying because they were so comfy. Like I have breeches tights and they don't have that. Why did you have to put that on there? That is silly. I guess you can't see it when you ride, but I'm not going to go walking around with my crotch out. But these were originally 180. These, which are, I don't know what sort of green this is. It's a pretty ugly green, but it's very like different, which I really like. But I think these were about 130 after they got the 20 five percent off which was super good and they've got the bottom like that and yeah so that's what I got at the tack shop today I spent a fair bit but apparently that's been the, the theme of this holiday is spending lots which is good because I'm in retrospect saving because everything is a lot cheaper in the places that I get it and I wouldn't be getting it if it wasn't by the way do you like this jacket it's from my brother's brand living roots i can't believe i got three different shades of green like green is the color of the day apparently apparently i'm irish you just don't see like green very much in horses you see lots of blue you see lots of navy you see lots of i don't know but you don't see a whole lot of green and you don't see a whole lot of brown, which is why I use it in my show jumping. And everything else, pretty much. Ew, I shouldn't lick that, ew. Anyway, I'm going to go to bed now. But first I'm going to go downstairs and see if I can guilt the girl I'm living with into giving me a bit of the pasta she's making. <laughs> Am I a terrible human being? I'm not sure. Bye guys! Detail falls and fat mares. She cleared the rocks but she also cleared like the shallow end of the lake. <laughs> and was like... So she's, Panic! Like, it was terrible and so I'm like trying to turn her around. <laughs> I like have like my whole back.